Well, hello, we are here in Wisconsin at Golden Field for the third and final game in this two-game series between the Wolves and the Outlaws. And, and both teams will have bots in the in game pitching, so perhaps we'll see a, a game that isn't one to nothing this time. And batting first is Gunny Vaudeville, first baseman. Here's the first pitch from Shen Beats. It's a ball a little high. That pitch also missing, this time a little outside. Here's the 2-0. Missing low. Here's the 3-0 now. And he'll find the zone this time. Here's the 3-1. It's lined down the right side. That's a base hit. As they'll start off the game. He'll start off the game one for one. And now batting here is the left fielder, Jaquan Freesmith. First pitch is just a little high. That pitch hit well, high and deep into center field. That ball's got a chance, and he drops it. It's gone. I think that he uh, bobbled it at the wall, and it gets over the wall, and that's a home run for Jaquan Freesmith. And now up to plate, here's Dante Green who is yeah that's certainly one of the more interesting plays I've seen while commentating Wab so far it's now 1-1 one, one. that pitch fouled off by Green here's the 1-2 hit down the line fouled again here's the 2-2 two, two. hit and it'll be popped up. Looks like Butler is going to make the catch. It, that's the first out. Up to the plate here is the right fielder, Clout Tunes, who's leading the league in home runs of four. First pitch is just a quite, it's quite a ways high. That pitch fouled off. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Missing the zone there. Here's the 2-1. Lined, and that'll be a base hit. As Outlaw's off to a strong start here. Off of the plate, here's the DH, Jeremy Kraus. First game, two for... He's been having himself a decent start to the his season as he's played these first two games. He hasn't been bad. Hasn't really done a ton, though, other than get a bunch of base hits. 3-0 now to Kraus. Ooh, swings at that changeup. He's late on it, looks like. That one hit on the ground to Davis. This could be two. Robbins makes the throw, and that'll be a double play to retire the side. But Outlaws do pick up two runs as out Wolves quickly having the play catch up here. Is leading off is Julian Paredes, who dropped the robbed home run, and it ended up being a home run. First pitch to him is a high changeup. It swung on and missed. Pitch just inside. That pitch swing swung on and hit the third. Green will make the throw. That'll be the first out. And batting now, here is the third baseman, Drew Davis. He's having himself an okay season, I'd say. That first pitch is just a little hot, a little low. That pitch also just a bit low. He's down 2-0, 3-0 now from Ogle McBot. That pitch is in there, however. Here's the 3-1. Also in there, as so he's back to 3 2. But it won't matter as he draws a walk. And batting now, here's the DH Dan Craig. First pitch from him is just a bit high. That pitch in there. Here's the, here's the 1 2. And swings on a low pitch. Strike three is as now batting. Here's Jace Aldrit, who homered in game in game two of this series, to gave to get the Wolves their only run. That pitch just a little bit low. Now 3-0, and that'll be a four-pitch walk from McBot is. That will bring it up to the plate, Wiener Warrior.
Here's the first pitch to Warrior. It's going to be just inside for ball one. That pitch also just missing a little low. That pitch will be fouled away. Now 2-1 to Warrior. 3-1 now as he misses high. And that's in the zone, fouled away. Now 3-2, the runners go. It'll be hit on the ground to Fox. Pretty easy play for him, and that'll end the inning. And now to the plate, here's the catcher, Cornelius King. As Beats did not himself have himself the greatest first inning. That one hit in the air into right. Condom Man won't be able to track it down, and that's a base hit for Cornelius King. Up to the bat now, here's TJ Martin, the center fielder, who's finally got himself his first two hits of the season in the last game. There's the first pitch, it's a ball just a little outside. And this time swings, and he's way out in front of that one, made him look a little silly. It's now 2 1 as that one's in the dirt. That pitch, a nice curveball, which finds the zone. That one hit down the line, hit pretty well. It's going to be caught though by Wiener Warrior. As that was not a, a that was that was definitely wasn't a badly hit ball, but Wiener Warrior with just enough range to make that catch. And now here's JoJo Shilizzi. First pitch right down the middle called a strike. Pitch just a little low. Here's the one one. That one also a little low. Here's the two one now. Hit on the ground, and it'll get through for a base hit as the Outlaws have two aboard here with one out. And here, here comes the ninth hitter, Beast Fox. First pitch to him is in there on the inside half. That pitch will miss a little low. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit and foul back, though. Here's the 1-2. Hit down. That one was down the middle, but fouled. Here's the 1-2 again. That one misses. It's now 2-2. Two, two. And swung on and missed. Strike three for Beast Fox is Donnie Vodeville now up to the plate. It's one. He's one for one with a single. It's, he kick-started the rally, which resulted in a home run. As that first pitch is in the dirt. That one hit down in th through the hole. It's a base hit. And the runners will be... The bases will be loaded here for Jaquan Freesmith, who is one for one with a home run to dead center. Could, can he do it again here, perhaps? And, I mean, if he does get any sort of runs, that's going to be... It's going to blow this game wide open. As that first pitch is in there. That second pitch swung on a miss as he's down 0-2. That pitch a little bit high. And that pitch misses, so two, so that'll be fouled away. It's now two and two. Misses the zone as he needs to get one in there. He swung on and missed, so they'll strand the loaded bait. They'll strand three runners as the bases are loaded and they are not able to bring home anyone. And up to the play here is the right fielder, Condom Man. First pitch is just a bit outside. That pitch the, swung on fouled. Here's the 2 1, and that's 2 1 now. That one fouled off. 2 2 now, as McBot can't find the zone. It's now 3 2. And man draws, draws a walk. And now here, now here's the play. Here's Billy the Butler. First pitch from McBot is in there at the knees, called strike. 0-1 oh, now. Swung on, hit pretty well, but way foul. As he's down 0-2. That one missing. Here's the 1-2. Hit, oh, hit in the air into left. That's a base hit, though, as it falls. As now they've got two aboard here for the second baseman, Griff Robbins. He is 
not he's having himself a decent season, I'd say. As the first pitch to him, he's gonna try to bunt. And it ends up working out as they've got runners at second and third here with only one out for Carlos Lopez. It's an interesting call to go with the bunt there is perhaps Lopez will try uh I'm not even I'm not sure what they're gonna do. Maybe he'll just hit it. That pitch is in there, here's the one one. That one taken for a strike. Lopez hoping to avoid the his 0 for 3 with three strikeouts in last game. That pitch fouled away. Looks like it will be out of range for any defenders. Here's the 2 2. 3 2 now. That one hit on the ground to first, and no runners will advance. But now Julian Perret is up to, up to the plate with two. With two out in the inning, up shot to the gap could tie the game. First pitch is just a bit high for ball one. That pitch also a little bit high. And that one hit well, but looks like Free Smith will make the catch. And that will end the inning as the Wolves strand a, ba a couple base runners in scoring position. And now up to the plate is the third baseman, Dante Green. He's 0 for 1 so far. First pitch to him is a high curveball, which will miss. That fastball is fouled away. That was a goofy sound effect. 2-1 <laughs> now after the missed. Oh, it's a strike a little bit outside, but this one going to miss. That pitch fouled away. Here's the 2-2, fouled back yet again. 2-2 again is swung on a hit to Aldrit. Looks like he'll have it. The play made pretty easily, and that'll be the first out. Now here's Clout Tunes. One for one for single so far. She's one of the best hitters in the game. As she is number one in OPS plus so far. Now 2-0. That one hit on the ground. It'll be a base hit yet again for Clout. Now up to the plate, here is the right fielder, Jeremy Kraus, who's 0 for 1 so far. Ball 1 to Kraus. Here's the 1 0. That one fouled away towards our camera. That's strike 2. Here's the, here's the 1 2 now. Missing the zone, here's the 2 2. Little stretches and strikes out. Jeremy Kraus. And up to the plate, here's Cornelius King. One for one. Lined a single into the right, his first at bat. First pitch to him is another liner into right, as he'll have himself his second base hit of the game. As there's been a lot more offense in this one than um, game two. As TJ Martin strides up to the plate, he's 0 for 1 in this game. First pitch a little off. That pitch on the ground to Butler. It looks like the play will be pretty easily made and that will retire the side. As the Outlaws already up to eight hits in just three innings. As their bot pitcher not doing too well. Here's Drew Davis who walked in his first at bat. First pitch from McBot is swung on, hit well into. Nope. It looks like it will. Stay in the yard as Free Smith makes the catch. Up to the plate here is the right fielder, Dan, sorry, designated hitter Dan Craig. I read the position instead of yeah. He's 0 for 1. First pitch to him is a strike. That pitch is gonna be just a little low. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit up the middle as a base hit. He's 1 for 2 now. Now here's Jace Aldrit, who's a fan favorite here in Wisconsin. He, as as I've said, he homered earlier in this series, and perhaps if he homered here, it would tie the game. That pitch in there from Ogle. That pitch fouled back. Here is the one-two, missing the zone. It's now two-two. Hit on the ground to Fox. This could be two. JoJo will make the throw, and that'll be a double play to end the inning. 
as Shen Beats really needs to get it together. He's allowed eight hits through three innings. Still only the two earned runs, so... Can't complain about that, I guess. Especially from a bot. That first pitch is a little low for ball one. That one hit. And caught by Davis. As that one, if that one probably might have been two if he had gotten over Davis' head, but he's able to reach up over his head and make the grab. Now here's Beast Fox. First pitch is a low one for ball one. That one hit up the middle, base hit for Beast Fox. And the lineup turns over. Here's the two for two Gunny Vodeville. He's got two singles so far. First pitch to him is a strike. That pitch hit down the line, but going to be foul as he's down 0-2. Swung on and missed by Vodeville for strike three, and that'll be an out. Here's Jaquan Freesmith. He's one for two. He's homered. And that's going to be it for Shen Beats as Herbal Collins enters the game. First pitch is a, mm, a ball. That looked like a strike. It's 2-0 now. As that one hit on the line, Butler can't get to it. It's a base hit. As they've got two aboard now with two out. And up to the plate is Dante Green. He's 0 for 2. Looking, still looking for his first hit. And it could, and if it comes here, they could extend their lead. Here's the first pitch to him. It's a strike at the knees. That one a little bit low. 1-1. One, one. Swung on, and Davis able to catch it. It's thrown to Aldrit. It's in time, and that'll strand a couple more base runners for Dallas. As they are getting hits, they just can't drive them in. And up to the play, here is the left fielder, Wiener Warrior. He's 0-1 so far. First pitch from McBot is a strike. That pitch fouled off. Here is the one, the 0 2. That pitch, mm, just inside. That pitch fouled. That one hit on the ground to Fox. Looks like it'll be a pretty easy play for him. And the bot Mojo goes up. Up to the plate. Here's the right fielder, Condom Man. Mm. As he's uh, hits it in the center field, that one's got a chance. And that one's over the wall. It's gone as as it'll be a home run for Condom Man, a 429 footer, and that'll cut the lead down to one. As it's two one Wolves now, two one two one Outlaws now. As Wolves pick up their first run, and here at the plate, here is the shortstop Billy the Butler. He's one for one for single. And he smokes that one into left center. Is that's back-to-back -back jacks for the Wolves to tie the game? That one, 410 feet on top of the on, off the dugout wall, and that'll tie the game at two. Up to the play. Here's the second baseman, Griff Robbins. As back-to-back -back jacks for the Wolves, puts some. Back in this game, it's a tie ball game. That one line caught by Schilzi. Now here's Carlos Lopez, who's 0 for 1 so far. First pitch from McBot. It is swung on and crushed into the gap. Looks like it'll be extra bases for Lopez. As this has been an offensive explosion here in this fourth inning for the Wolves. And up to the plate, here's the center fielder, Julian Paredes, with an RBI opportunity here. They could take the lead if they can get one into the outfield. And they're going to bring in first last, the relief pitcher, to hopefully stop this, uh, stop this rally. But both pitches miss. Here's the 2-0. 3-0 now to Paredes. That pitch is in there, however, as he will... And that'll be a double. That'll be um. That'll miss. It's a walk. Why did I say? That? Anyways, here's uh, here up to the plate is Drew Davis. 
He's 0 for 1, but he has walked, so basically 1 for 2. First pitch strike from first last. That one missing. That one fouled away. Here's the 1 2 now. That misses the zone. It's 2 2. And swung on, hit into the gap. That'll give the Wolves the lead. And perhaps some more as the runner rounds third. He's coming for home. And it'll be 4 2 Wolves. And up to the plate, here's the DH, Dan Craig. He's one for two with a single. And this crowd is fired up after a four run. After this four run inning. As first last is tense. That pitch misses. I don't want to give up a mistake to Dan Craig. He will he will punish you. And there he's just gonna walk him. Okay. As that brings up Jace Aldrit, who's off for one with a walk. This Wolves offense is chugging along. As first last having some trouble out there on the mound. He's gonna miss that first pitch. And that one hit well, but gonna be foul. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one hit on the ground. Looks like Fox will clean that up, and that'll end the inning, but not before the Wolves have a four-run fourth inning as they take the lead 4-2. And here up to the plate is Clout Tunes, who's really the type of batter you want up if you want some runs, as she hit three she's hit three home runs in this series. First pitch misses. That pitch is in there from Collins. That pitch will be just a little off. That one also a little bit off, so it's now three one. That pitch is in there, however, it's now three two. As swung on a miss for strike three as Herbal Collins with a strikeout. And now batting, here's the right fielder, Jeremy Kraus. It's 0 for 2 so far. That first pitch is in there. That pitch, mm, just gonna miss by, not by much. That one hit in the center, looks like Perez has got a read on that one. That play is made, that's the second out. Up to the plate, here is the catcher, Cornelius King. He's two for two, he's got two singles so far. That first pitch is in there. That pitch is swung on and hit. Looks like it will look like it's drifting foul. Looks like Herbo Collins will make the catch. And that will retire the side for the outlaws. As after that first run, that first inning, they've kind of cooled down a little bit. And up to the plate here is the left fielder, Wiener Warrior. He's 0 for 2 so far. He's looking for his first hit of the game. First pitch from last is a little bit outside. That one will be his first hit of the game. His tunes can't get to it. It's a base hit. And here's the right fielder, Condomani. He's locked in. He's got a home run and a walk today. First pitch. Hmm, almost. She backs him away a little bit. And that one gets past the first baseman. It's a base hit as that runner will go no further from the second. Now up here is the shortstop, Billy the Butler. He hit a home run to extend the lead to 4-2. First pitch is in there from first last. That one way off as Cornelius King has to run after it and the runners will advance on the wild pitch. That one, just a little bit low from first last, as it's now 3-1, as it seems to be losing control here. And he's just having an awful outing so far. 3 earned runs on just a third of an inning pitched so far. And that's going to be it for him, as that's about as bad as you can screw up if you're first last. As Carlos Madera is going to be sent in to clean this up. That strike is in there, and it's now 0-2. That pitch missing. That one hit on the ground. They're going to try for two here. And he can't scoop it, but it, and it wouldn't even matter as the run, run's coming to score. It's now 5-2. This crowd is fired up as they got two on for Carlos Lopez, who hit a double earlier.
First pitch from him. It's a strike. That pitch just a little bit low, a little bit high from Madeira. The pitch in there, it's now one, one and two. That pitch just a tad high. Madeira can't find the zone. It's now 3 2. And swung on and missed. That's a strikeout for Carlos Lopez as Madeira makes it. As there's now two gone. And Julian Paredes up to the plate. 0 for 2, but he has walked so far. As Madeira over. After, after, after two, two batters, one strikeout and another out. As Madeira. Look at that 0 oh, 2. Here's the 1 2. Swung on and missed, and it'll be another strikeout for Madeira. He's got two in an inning pitched. And Dallas needs to wake up here as they are trailing by three. And leading off for them is TJ Martin. He's 0 for 2 so far. That first pitch, a strike at the knees from Collins. That one hit into the air into right. Looks like man has got a read on that. The play is made for the out. Here's Jojo Schlizzy. He's one for two. He's got a single so far. Hoping to just continue that here as that first pitch missing the zone. That pitch fouled away by Schlizzy. That pitch a strike on the, on the top corner. That pitch a little inside. That fourth ball is fouled away. Now the 2-2 from Collins is also fouled away. 2-2 again now. Foul. 2-2 again. Is hit up the middle. It's going to get past Beast Fox. It'll be a base hit. Sorry, Robin's not Beast Fox. That's a... Speaking of Beast Fox, he's up now. He's one for two with a single. As Collins needs to get a double play here. But a ball. A pitch is not a double play. It's a base hit. As he's going for three, it's going to be close. He's out at that third. Is a nice outfield assist from Khan. The man gets him, and there'll be two down here. And now here's Gunny Vodaville. He's two for three. He's got two singles in the day. First pitch is a high strike. That pitch is a ball. Here's the one one now. That one hit up the middle. It's like, ah, Robbins can't get to it. And now they got two on and two out here. Here's Daquan Freesmith. He's two for three. Homer and single for him. As he gave the Outlaws their first lead, but now he's going to have to... I mean, a home run here does tie the game. So perhaps he can work some magic here. Nope, Davis will knock that one down, and he'll, but he'll be safe at first. It'll be an infield single. And here's Dante Green with the bases loaded. A well-hit ball here could tie or even put the Outlaws in the lead. First pitch is a ball. A pitch hit up the middle. That'll score at least one. And a second run comes in. And it'll, and it'll cut the lead down to one. And now to the plate. Here's the right fielder, Clout Toons, who's two for three. Two singles for her. And that's going to be it for Erbo Collins as he has put the Outlaws back in this game and Tarek Dunbo is in the game. 2-0 now as Dunbo can't find the zone. That pitch swung on and popped up. Looks, I don't know if there's enough space there. And no as it hits the dugout, it hits the dugout instead of the field. Here's the 2-2 now as he finds the zone, and Clout strikes out, yet again. You imagine with 99 contact, she'd be, avoid, she'd be able to avoid these strikeouts, but I guess not. Up to the plate, here's the third baseman, Drew Davis, who's 1 for 2. He's doubled, walked, and has 2 RBI. A very solid game from him. First pitch is a strike. That pitch is going to miss. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground, but foul. One, two, swung on and missed. That's a strikeout. Now here's Dan Craig, who's one for two. He's singled and he's walked so far. As Madeira having himself a solid start. He's 
and after four batters faced, he has three Ks. That pitch fouled back. Here's the one, two. That one hit into the gap. I think Cloud's gonna get there though, and that'll be the second out. Up to the plate is the first baseman, Jace Aldrit, who is 0 for 2, but he has walked. First pitch is a ball. That pitch also just misses. Now 3 0 is Madeira at risk, and that's gonna be a walk. And now batting is the left fielder, it's Wiener Warrior. First pitch from Madeira. It's taken for ball one. That pitch swung on foul. Looked like it was sounded like it was hit pretty hard. That pitch a ball. Now two one from Madeira. That one what was that? Hit up the middle. Base hit. As they've got two aboard here with two out, and up to the plate is Condaman. He is two for two, home run single. An RBI for him is he gave the Wolves their first lead of the game. First pitch to him is a ball. As the last thing Madeira needs to do is give up a home run. That one hit on the ground. As that's the opposite of a home run, it's a ground out to end the inning. Up to the plate, here's the right fielder, Jeremy Krause. Here is the first pitch from Dumbo. Hit down the line. Ruled foul, though. That was close. Here's the 1-1. Swung on. Hit well in the center, but right at Paredes for the out. And up to the plate, here's Cornelius King. He's 2 for 3. He's got two singles. As Dumbo still in the game after almost an inning of work. Here's the 0-1. That's a high pitch. That one, an absolute nuke from Cornelius King. That's going to be out of the stadium. And that ties the game up at five. 451 feet from King. And yeah, it's five to five now. As this game has been a good one, as there have been multiple lead changes, and now it's a tie game yet again. Here's TJ Martin. He's 0 for 3 so far. Ball. It's 2-0 now. That one hit on the ground. Looks like Aldrich will make the play. He's going to throw it over the Dumbo for the out. And here's JoJo Shilzy. He's 2 for 3. Two singles for him so far. What to check to see if you're him. He's more of a contact hitter, so getting those little, those little singles through the gaps is really his game. And that one does not find a gap. It's hit right at Butler, who will make the play for the third out. As now Wolves hoping to take the lead back here as they need a sing singular run. And up to the plate is the shortstop, Billy the Butler, who's locked in. He's two for two. As Madeira stays in the game. The first pitch from him is a ball. That pitch fouled away. It's now 1-1. One, one. That pitch hit down the line, but foul. It's now 1-2. Looking for the strikeout here. It's hit over to Vodaville, which I guess is good enough. It's another out. Up to the play is the second baseman, Griff Robbins. He's 0 for 2, but did drive in a run with a ground out. First pitch to him it is a strike. That pitch is a ball, though. It's now 1 1. That one hit on the ground. Looks like Shilazi's got that one pretty easily. It's the second out. Now here is the catcher, Carlos Lopez. He's one for three. He did double earlier. And mm, that's going to be it for Carlos Lopez as he's being pinch hit for. Here's Jeff Jenkins. That one hit well, but right at Madera, sorry, right at Martin for the out. As that'll end the inning. It's this 5-5 five five as we enter the final two innings. And up to, up to the bat first is Beast Fox. He's two for three. He's got two singles. 
and Brian Ron will be the backup catcher here as he'll straight up miss that pitch. <laughs> Probably about a pass ball if the runner's on base. That pitch is a strike. It's now 2-1. As Dumbo able to get Fox to strike wing through it. That one hit in the air into right. Man's got that one. He's under it, calling everyone off. It's an out. And up to the plate, here's Vodeville. He's three for four, four for in three singles for him as the pressure is piping high. First pitch from Dumbo is in there. And that's a high deep ball from Vodeville. It's caught by Paredes though at the wall. As he redeems himself for that um Mr. Rob earlier, which Gave the Dallas their first lead as Jaquan Freesmith checks into the game here. Three for four, he, he hit that home run. As that one hit on the ground, Butler makes lays out, makes the play as a nice play to and to retire the side as the Wisconsin Wolves are now up to the plate. And batting first for them is their is the, is the leadoff man, Julian Paredes. He's over three. Did draw a walk though. His first pitch from Madeira is a strike. That pitch also a strike from Madeira as he's quickly down 0 2. It's a strikeout. Which is. I mean, I'm pretty sure um, he leads the league in strikeouts. Um, Paredes does. As that's going to be it for, for Madeira as Nathan Bodie, the closer, enters the game. That first pitch is a ball. Also a ball in there from Bodie. Bodie, more, no, more of a junker, but also has strong velocity. His only real weakness is his accuracy. Now the 1-2 is quite a ways inside. Now 3-2. That one almost hit him. It's going to be a walk. As even if, he'd, even if he hadn't gone out of the way, he still would have been going to first. Here's Dan Craig. He's one for three. Single and walk for him. First pitch. Mm, just inside. That one hit on the ground. Looks like looks like they won't be able to get... Never mind, they do get two. As Craig is very slow and gives them just enough time to turn two here. As the Outlaw is now up to the plate. Here's Dante Green as they to lead off the ninth. And, as we, and it's still deadlocked at five. As Dunbo still in the game. Surprised they're not bringing in an ATL here. As he is... Probably their best remaining reliever. That one hit into the gap. Looks like Man will have a read on it. And that'll be the first out. Here's Clout Toon. She's two for four. Two singles. Keeping Dumbo in the game. Interesting. That one hit on the line. Caught by Butler. And now here's Jeremy Krause. He's tense. He's 0 for 4 so far. First pitch is a ball a little high. Here's the 1 0. Fouled back. Here's the 1 1. Inside nearly hits Kraus. Is that one hit? It's a base hit. As he'll be 1 for 5 now. And his mojo back up to normal. And here's Cornelius King, who hit an absolute bomb to tie the game. And, man, they're still not bringing in Cock Teal. I wonder why. First pitch is a strike. Perhaps they're playing for extras here? I don't know. And it ends up working out, I guess, as King strikes out. And we answer the bomb of the ninth. Here's, and leading off is Jay Saldrit. And the whole middle of the order, which is really the most dangerous part of this Wisconsin lineup, is all three of these guys can hit bombs when they want to. And Bodie with a tall task here to force extras against three very strong hitters. That one probably gave Bodie a scare, but it's just going to be a fly out to center as Martin makes the catch. And here is the left fielder, Wiener Warrior. He's two for four. He's got himself two singles. First pitch from Bodie. Is a strike at the knees. That pitch fouled away as he's down 0-2. That 
That one hit up the middle, and the winning run is on first. With only one out. And I wouldn't be surprised they bring in a pinch runner for Warrior here, as he's not the fastest guy. Here's Kana Man. He's two for three. A home run, a single, and a walk for him. And no, no, no pinch runner for Warrior, as they're going to keep him in. That pitch also missing. It's 2-0 it's now, as Bodie needs to avoid giving Kana Man anything he can hit. And... I guess the solution to that is to just walk him as the winning run moves up to second here and Billy the Butler's up to the plate. As Bodie has not put himself in a good situation to get out here. I guess he does have the double play in effect, but Butler does have solid hitting stats, so I'd be a little worried if I were a Outlaws fan as, as he goes down 2-0. Now 2-1 as he finds the zone. Here's the 2-1. Looks for a double steal and... That'll be an easy out. As Butler hits one. He does, he rounds third, but decides to trail back as Griff Robbins now up to the plate. He's 0 for 3, but he does have an RBI to his name. Can you get another here? That first pitch is fouled off. As the winning run is just 90 feet away. That pitch misses. It's now 2-1. That pitch swung on and missed. It's now 2-2, and we are one strike away from forcing extras. It's hit down the line. That pitch stays fair. The Wolves win it. Wow, as they walk off this game, they, they come back from 2-0, and they win the game in the ninth with a, with a, with a double from Griff Robbins. What an ending is the Wolves find a way to, to win the game as the Outlaws, five runs on 17 hits, no errors. Wolves, six runs on 12 hits, no errors. Here are our batting, our batting, batting totals. And here are our pitching totals. Dunbo will pick up the win with a three with three innings of work, and Bodie will take the loss as he gives up the earned run to end the game. And now here are our players of the game. It's going to be our third star is Jaquan Freesmith, who hit that home run to give the Outlaws their first lead. That's a well-deserved third star. And now then the second star is the shortstop, Bill the Butler, who not only played great defense at short, but also hit a home run and was three for four. But, of course, the number one star is Condom Man. He's two for three. Home run. Two runs and a stolen base for him. And that will do it here from Wisconsin, as this has probably been one of the more exciting games I've seen, as the Wisconsin Wolves take this one to end the series as they win the series two to one. And that, that'll do it here from Wisconsin. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week as these two teams will both be in action on Monday. Have a good night. I hope you see you for our next game is between the Otters and War Beasts.